The Plague by Christina Rossetti Christina Rossetti Christina Georgina Rossetti, an English romantic, devotional, and children's poet was born on December 5, 1830 in London. Was educated at home by her mother and father, through religious works, classics, fairy tales, and novels. She sat for several paintings of Dante Gabriel Rossetti's paintings. From 1842 she began writing out and in 1847 she became experimenting with verse forms such as sonnets, hymns, and ballads. Her first poems were published in Athenaeum magazine in 1848. She used the pseudonym Ellen Allen in the literary periodical The Germ. Died on December 29, 1894. The Plague The poem captures the terrifying suddenness of plague expresses the destroying magnitude of the plague which affected the whole world. Written as a Petrarchan sonnet. Most probably published in the collection Goblin Market and Other Poems in 1862. Summary The poem starts with the tone of warning against the attack of plague and then indicates the pathetic condition of the world. The plague has dripped the living and rapidly transformed them into the dead in a very fast pace and huge number. The poem is in third-person narrative and a madman in anger says that the last stroke of the death has struck and the plague has come. This epidemic laid all men down and made them bedridden. The hands of them are twisted within the linen pluck and the whole body is then wrapped with the same. Everything is over and the poet says that the life of those men are over. As the plague affected the men they were thrown carelessly among the men who are also in the same state. The poet says that no human bodies are cared but dumped in heaves. The speed of the spreading is not calculative as it spread very fast. The spirit of the humans are considered little and this made the men to be hard-hearted as all are threatened by the pandemic. A normal death of a person will be marked with respect and the rituals for him will be performed for his funeral. But the situation is very worst and the dead are placed in the truck and were taken to the burial ground. They were provided a room or a grave where many were buried together. The poet warns others saying that only one thing can be done and that is to be away from infection. She asks others to keep themselves safe and not to be infected by the hot wholesome wind of the disease. At last she questions whether there is anyone who mourns on the multitude of the death. For more videos, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.